Hey, Gamebox here. So, I see a lot of people asking why I think Russell Wilson's so good. Obviously, his stats are solid. His throw power's maybe not as great as Vic, not as fast, but he gets a skate artist. So, I want to go through quarterback playmaker today, how to do it, how to take advantage of it. Those that have been playing Madden for a while knows just how glitchy it is. Sadly, I can't do it in practice mode because I didn't see any uh, regular quarterbacks with playmaker on them. So, I, I want to go through a couple of the ways. Now, there's tons of ways to take advantage of Playmaker. Like I said, in previous years, there's a ton of it. You can bring, like, uh, let's just go through it. So, we have to do this in a solo. We're doing, like, Baker solo. So, I'm going to show a few of the ways of doing it. First of all, I guess I should say how to do it. You basically wait for the nearest receiver. Or you ha the nearest receiver, when they are running, you just flick the right thumbstick, both on Xbox and PlayStation 4, the direction you want them to go. Now, when you normally do that, they kind of take like a, a slow angle. They don't playmake a ton. With this, they absolutely explode. It is out of a cannon like this is the Civil War. Okay? So, bunch. I'm in West Coast. As you can see, my playbook's above me. West Coast offense, but this is gonna do this can happen in a lot of offenses. So, an example of this. I'm gonna max protect. I'm a streak Randy Moss. Of course he has Moss, but I'm not going to throw it. So watch Owens. I'm going to throw Owens on just a regular drag. There he is. Now watch what happens. Here's just the mess, mesh post route. I just want to isolate that. See how, see how he kind of cuts up field? Obviously B is wide open, so we're just going to kind of chuck it to him to get the touchdown. It's not as good against man. Man can keep up with it a little, but you see how he kind of went up there pretty fast. All right, let's just replay it again. Uh, like, we're, like we're grinding levels, right? All right, so... With that bunch, that's one way of doing it. You can do other things. We'll just call the same mesh post. You can bring out Moss. You can you can hitch playmaker, which is a, which is a very popular scheme. If they're blitzing a lot of people, hitch playmaker like this. You can motion on him out again, and now you can kind of see where the opening is. Playmaker from there, throw it, gain a few yards, ten yards, get up the field. Moss dominates dudes like uh, you know sometimes he does. So, hitch playmakers are very powerful. Similar things that you can do, uh, not just with that person right there, where you hitch him. Let's let's bring our running back down here. Let's, uh, I don't know, clear everybody out. Let's block this guy. Delay fades from the tight end are under, underrated, just to let you know. But we're going to keep on a straight blocking assignment right here. So, we'll go like this. So, you can hitch playmaker your, your running back too. See, he's open over there. Hitch play. Oh, and Dickerson dropped the ball for some weird reason. So, hitch playmaker running back, also very nice. You can do double hitches. You can do all that. But, the really cool thing um, is something like PA boot read. This is something that I saw a few people do on me last year. Like, you know, it's the it's the nearest receiver, okay? So, what if that nearest receiver is like 30 yards downfield? What do you do then? All right, watch Moss. Now, Moss is obviously going to burn if he's in man coverage, if he's not. But, like, say he's using it. Boom. Do you know how hard that is to use it? As I got sacked. But, do you see that? Like, do you see how quickly that goes? We'll just... I don't know, go like that. Uh, but did you see how quickly he moves down the field? I'll go to the instant replay. Of course, yeah, I got a little bit of pressure here. But look at Moss. Look at how quickly. This is going to be very hard to use. He bumps somebody. And then do you see how he cuts quickly and, and, and explodes back? Obviously, if I'm watching this, I'm throwing the ball right here, right? I got clear outs. You know, I got a touchdown right here. But we're doing it just for this thing. So, like, obviously, in a real game, you just keep throwing it because there's no user near him. But if the user's underneath him, you just cut him back, right? If people Because it's too deep on the field. So, this is just one example of a play. A lot of these, like, deep crossers in this playbook will have this. Um, this is tough because it's not the greatest coverage to show this. Because, again, like I said, man coverage or whatever he's in, yeah. See, I just, like, you just get a touchdown right here. But, boom, goes back the other way. Still, Moss is still open. So down the field, because the underneath zones don't cover it, you got the two clear outs to get them deep. That's great for like a deep, like a back pocket type of reception. So I hope Playmaker, and, and you can see why it is so freaking powerful on this uh, in this game right now. So try and add something like that to your scheme. It's kind of like a bailout type of routine. So sorry for not doing as many tip videos this year as I have done in other years. Uh, that's just, you know, me being, a, a, you know, kind of more into mutt than gameplay but you know I, I should show off a lot of the tips we've been doing most of them in the uh uh ebooks but uh, you know maybe I should do more of these mini tip videos let me know if you like it uh the video's not too long like like i said there, there's a ton of these things you can do in many different formations you just gotta i don't know think about it what's another good deep crosser we'll try the z spot max protect i guess i gotta do like a deep in too 
A deep end would work too. Uh, let's try the Z though. Let's try to see that Z in the knee. And no, I can't. I couldn't. I couldn't do him there. Wait. Oh, I have Baker. Freaking Baker Mayfield and Mayfield challenges. I had to use Baker for these challenges. I just used the Baker challenges. They keep subbing in for me. Rip. So a lot of things you can do here. Let's um, let's do it with a tight end here. So you can do any position. Tight end clear out. And we'll see if that we'll see how quickly the tight end moves. See how see how quickly he goes. I was under pressure there, of course. But you see how quickly he cut? Very hard to use there downfield. Anyways, that's it for the tip. I hope you guys enjoyed. QB playmaker, playmaker itself on receivers. That's how you want to take advantage of it. Do not let that go to waste because that is a very powerful, powerful offensive weapon. All right. Thanks for watching all the action. I'll see you tomorrow.